Hey guys and welcome back. It's so great to see all of your beautiful smiling faces here on the mat today. So we're going to go inside in today's practice doing a little bit of yin. So grab your mat and grab your workout gear and I will see you back here in just a moment. Okay, to start today's practice, we're gonna go ahead and grab your bolster or some blankets or a block if you have a block. And I want you just to come to a nice, gentle seated position on your mat. So just find a place where you can sit comfortably without fidgeting. Um, so if you have some blocks, you can put some blocks, some books, blankets, a bolster if you have one. Take your hands to your, to your thighs and close your eyes. And just take a few moments to breathe. Just coming into this moment. Focusing on yourself. On your breath. Maybe on the quality of breath. Just notice how your body feels. As we move through our practice today, I want you to be mindful. I want you to really focus in on how you feel, on the way different postures affect your emotions. And see if you can find ways to let go, whether it's to go deeper into poses, let go of emotions or thoughts or anger or anything that's pent up inside and just find a way to work through those things today. And with that, blink your eyes open nice, slowly, just nice, gentle gaze. And we're going to move into our first pose for today's practice. So go ahead and remove your block or anything that you're sitting on. And I want you to make your way into a butterfly pose. So bringing the soles of the feet together, nice and close. And then I want you to exhale slowly fold forward. So I don't want you to force anything. I want you just to find a natural pose where it feels nice and simple and easy. And then I want you to take it a little bit deeper. So you should feel just a slight bit of discomfort. See if you can completely let go. Closing the eyes and just breathing. So try not to force the pose, but instead just relax and melt into the pose. I'm going to be here for a total of five minutes. So just finding that space, that stillness. Seeing if you can maybe take it a little bit deeper. Take a scan of the body and see if there's anywhere that you're holding on to. Any tension, any aches, any pains. If you can try to take it a little bit deeper, maybe walk the hands out a little bit further. Starting to tap in to those meridian lines in the body. So we're really focusing in on that second chakra today.
Just see if you can find space. You can find rest. You can find a way to go just a little bit deeper. We're here for just one more minute. If you can find stillness in the body. About 30 more seconds here. Last few seconds here. And then slowly I want you to release, melting into just a mini resting pose, mini shavasana, laying flat onto your back. And see if you can notice a change in energy rushing through the body. Maybe it's tingling, just the rush of blood flowing through those hips. See if you notice how that feels. Again, keeping the eyes closed, just resting here. here I want you to slowly sit up and we're going to move our way into a frog pose so I want you to take the corners of your mat fold them in so you get a little bit more cushion underneath those knees let's go ahead and fold those legs in those mats in all right and what you're going to do is you're going to just slide those legs out as far as they will go and you're going to take your down to your forearms if you have a block or a pillow or your bolster you can bring your bolster up to rest your body on so take that bolster and you're welcome just to lay down onto the bolster. And I want you just to work on opening through those hips. And you want to make sure that your hips are in a nice straight line. So you don't want to be coming back too far so your hips are coming back or forward too far. I want you right at about a 90 degree angle there. So your hips are going out, your legs are going straight out. And I want you just to relax, try to let go, and just completely let your body melt. And we're breathing. Inhale. So the only time we move in a yin practice is just to go slightly deeper into a pose. Exhale. Or if we've gone too far to let ourselves out. Again, closing the eyes. Seeing if you can release those hips a bit more. Work in a bit lower. See if you can maybe scoot those legs out a bit further. We're halfway. See if you can maybe go a little bit deeper if you're resting on a bolster. See if maybe you can move that bolster out just a little bit further, letting the belly drop just a little bit lower. Again, just trying to relax here into the pose. Two minutes left to go.
deep breathing. See if you can relax, release any of those emotions that are rushing through the body. See if we can take the pose just a little bit deeper. We have a minute and 15 seconds left. Just a minute remaining. Again, try to see if there's anywhere else in the body you can let go. Any tension that you're holding on to. See if you can try to release it. Let yourself just go a little bit deeper. Last 20 seconds. And slowly, I want you to come out. Make sure you move nice and slowly. You might be a bit achy, a bit sore, that's okay. Release that mat out and go into your resting pose. You can lay on your back or on your stomach. It's up to you, whatever feels right for your body. Just taking a few moments to just relax, to notice how the body feels. Notice that rush of energy going back to the hips. Keep breathing here, inhale, and exhale. This practice is one of introspection. One where we look inside ourselves and we work through any of the issues, any of the problems that we're facing. Letting the body recover from that previous pose as we breathe. Slowly make your way all the way back up. And we're going to move into dragonfly pose. So I want you to go ahead and Split those legs out as far as they will go. So I want you to find as far as you can go and then maybe take it just a little bit further. Sit up nice and tall and if you're having trouble folding forward and you, you're not really able to, to take the hips forward, you can sit on a block or on your bolster or on some books or a blanket just to lift those hips up a bit higher. If you're okay to fold forward, slowly start to walk your hands Forward. And again, if you're having trouble walking your hands forward, you're always welcome to keep your hands behind you and just take a lean. But I want you to walk your hands as far forward as they will go. So I don't want you to force anything. Rather, I just want you to relax. Let your feet relax. Let your head hang. If you have a block, you can put a block under your head. Or if you've got a bolster, you're welcome to take your bolster. And you're also going to place it down onto your head. And just relax here. Really getting into those inner thighs. Trying to find a way to release. Take a scan of the body. See if there's anywhere that you're holding tension. And if so, try to find a way to just let it go. Relax the shoulders the head, relax the hips, 
allowing your body just to fold deeper into this pose. Trying not to move or to fidget. Allowing your mind to just still, to quiet, to just be mindful. We're halfway. See if maybe you can go a little bit further. Maybe walk your hands out a little further. Or move the block a little bit further out. We've got a minute and 30 left to go. One more minute left to go, see if you can maybe take it a bit further, maybe walk this feet out a little bit further, drop the head a little bit lower. Try to completely relax, surrender to the pose. Any emotions, any aches, just breathe through them knowing that it's just a feeling and it will pass. Last 15 seconds. Hang in there, you're doing great. And then slowly come out. You might be moving extra slow on this one. I want you just to completely relax, whether it's laying on your belly or on your back, moving nice and slow, getting to a place where you can just release and let go. Letting all the emotions go. Feeling the rush of energy through the body. Notice, observe how those hips feel. It's your tingling sensation, cooling sensation. Whatever it is, just feel it. Be present and in the moment.
All right, from here, we're gonna make our way up. We're gonna come into shoelace pose or square pose. So you have two options. You can either stack the legs one on top of another, so square them up this way, and take a lean forward, so walk those hands forward, and you're welcome to stay here, so your left leg is on top of the right leg. Or if you'd like a different variation, try both, see what feels right for you. You're going to cross those legs, stack those knees up on top of each other, and then take the fold forward. So find what feels best for you. And just breathe. I want you to slowly let go, so closing those eyes. And just breathing. Getting into those glutes, the outsides of those IT bands. Those stubborn muscles that get so short and cramped as we sit at our desks every day. So taking the time here today to just relax. And just to slowly work through these poses today. See if you can find a little bit more space, a little bit more length. Remembering only to move if you are trying to go deeper or if you've gone a little too deep and need to back off a bit. Feel free to close your eyes and just focus. Focus on how you feel. You can focus on your breath. We're halfway. Keep breathing. Take a scan of the body and see if there's anywhere that you can let go. Maybe you're holding on in those hips. See if you can find length, space, and the freedom to just relax and fold. Keep breathing. Through yin practice, we find a way to quiet our mind, to relax, to let go. Forty-five seconds left. Final 30 seconds to go. From here, slowly back out, uncross those legs, and make your way into a rebound pose. So go ahead and lay flat onto your back. And just relax. Feel the sensation of energy rushing back into maybe that left glute. Maybe a little bit in the right hip as well. Notice how it feels. Notice how you feel.
and keep breathing, letting the body recover. From here, slowly sit up. And we're gonna make our way into the other side this time, cross the left leg. When the right leg comes on top, you're welcome to stack the legs, one on top of the, um, the other. Or, and fold from here, come forward. Or if you'd like, you can come into shoelace pose, so you're really gonna cross those legs, try to stack those knees. And then you'll inhale and just come forward nice and slow. And try to relax. Letting the body go. Let the head hang, the shoulders relax. Really work into that right glute. Inhaling and exhaling. Noticing how the body feels as you're sitting in this pose. Any emotions that start to run through the body, just acknowledge them. See if you can find a way to release the hips a little bit further. We're halfway. See if maybe you can move a little bit deeper into the pose. Oftentimes we find that these poses can be a bit of a tug of war where we're trying to go deeper but the body doesn't want to let us go. If you surrender to the pose, just start to relax to breathe, bringing the focus back to the area in which the pose is targeting, so that glute, that right glute. Seeing if you can find a space and a room to go deeper. Just keep breathing. We're almost there. One minute left to go. Last 30 seconds. From here, slowly back out. Releasing the body, making your way 
into your resting pose, whether it's on your back or on your stomach, whatever feels right for you. Notice the change of the feelings that are running through your body. Notice how your hips feel. Notice how the glute on the right side feels. Maybe you've got a whole bunch of emotions running through your body. Just acknowledge them. Another 30 seconds here. Now slowly make your way all the way back up. We're gonna move into a swan pose. We'll start with our left side. You're gonna take your left leg, cross it forward. A variation for this is deer pose. So if you're having trouble getting, to, getting, getting into swan, you sensitive knees, you can come to a 90 degree angle with your front leg and a 90 degree angle with your back leg. And you can take a twist off to your left and then bring your elbows down to the ground and start to work through this twist here, work through the, through the glutes. You wanna sit forward into the pose, you're really getting into that glute. If you wanna take it to the full swan pose, you're going to extend that right leg out behind and then just fold forward from here. Finding a way just to let go, to surrender to the pose. You might also find that if you want to square your hips, get deeper into the pose this way, that might be more beneficial, or you can roll off to the left side, whatever feels right for you. Just want you to relax into your pose here. Being mindful of those knees, making sure there's no tension in the knees. Finding a way to just relax, to melt into the pose. Again, remembering only to move to go deeper or to back out if you've gone too far. This pose for me is always the toughest. Forcing yourself just to relax, to let go, to surrender. If there's any emotions or aches or pains running through the body, just breathe through them knowing that the sensations, the feelings will pass. This pose can often make us feel anxious worried or stressed but through a continuous yoga practice you can find ways to release to let go last two minutes
last minute to go. Last 30 seconds, hang in there. Just keep breathing. And slowly release, coming out nice and slow. Make your way into a resting pose. Laying down onto your belly. Or onto your back. Just keep breathing. One more minute here. Just notice how that hip feels. Maybe there's pins and needles. Maybe it's just a warm rush. From here, slowly make your way up, moving on to our other side. This time you're going to bring your right leg forward. Again, bringing it to 90 degrees, you can bring your other leg out to 90 as well. And you're welcome to take a twist and come down from here and work in to the outside of that IT band. That's one option you have. The other option you have is to extend that left leg out behind you and make your way into a swan pose. Whatever pose you make your way into, try to find that edge of uncomfortable. So you don't wanna be relaxing, going, oh, this feels really nice. But you don't wanna be completely uncomfortable where you can't let go. So you wanna be kind of teetering on that edge of slightly uncomfortable. We're just breathing through here. We're halfway. Again, remembering only to move to go deeper into the pose or to back out if you've gone a little too far. We've got two minutes left.
Just keep breathing. Noticing the sensations, the feelings that are running through your body. Last minute to go. See if you can take a scan of that body. See if there's anywhere that you're holding tension, anywhere you can let go. Maybe it's in the shoulders, in the hips. Try to let it go. Last 30 seconds. From here, slowly make your way up into your rebound pose. It can be on your belly or on your back, whatever feels right for you. And just slowly relax, close the eyes, and just let it be absorbed into the body. Just notice how the body feels. From here, slowly make your way into a child's pose. From your child's pose, walk your hands back up. And I want you to step your right foot forward. And I want you to walk the left foot back as far as it'll go. And you're welcome to stay up nice and high in this pose here. Or if you want to take it down a bit lower, you're welcome to drop down a bit lower. You can come down to the elbows or the forearms. If you want, you can also take a block or a bolster to help make this pose a bit more comfortable. So you can take your bolster, place it down, and you can even wedge it just down by that thigh and lay onto it here. So we're really working in a little bit into the hip flexor, into the quad. And I want you just to find a way to relax. We're gonna be here for five minutes. So as we progress through our time here, 
We're going to go deeper and deeper, just slowly letting go, relaxing, just breathing. Remembering the only time we move is to go deeper into a pose or to ease out if we've gone a little bit too far. So just keep breathing, noticing how the body feels. Noticing if you're holding on anywhere, if there's anywhere you can release, maybe go a little bit deeper. If you're using props, a block or blankets or a bolster, you can slowly start to move it out, allow your body to go even deeper. Continue to breathe. Really taking the time to quiet the mind, to bring the body back, the mind back, and just relax. We're about halfway. Just continuing to breathe. If you want to take it a little bit deeper, now would be a time to slowly move those props out a little bit further. And see if you can get yourself down towards the mat a little bit lower. Eventually getting ourselves to a place where we're laying down on the mat, on our bellies. Take a scan of the body. And again, see if there's anywhere you can let go. We've got a minute 30 left to go. Again, only trying to move to go deeper into a pose or to back out if you've gone a little bit too far. Hanging in there. Just keep breathing. Oftentimes our lives are very busy. We're always going, things to do, deadlines. So to sit in one position for five minutes can be quite challenging. Not only for the body, but for the mind. See if you can find a way to just relax. To let the, the mind go and to be present here on the mat. Past 15 seconds. And slowly come out, laying down to your belly and just completely letting the body go into a nice resting pose. Notice the sensation of energy moving through the body. Notice how that hip feels. Maybe how the groin feels. Just taking this time here in a rebound. 
to relax, to let the body recover and prepare for it. From here, I slowly want you to help pick yourself up. And we're going to move on to the other side. So this time, left leg. What I want you to do is I want you to step that left leg forward. And again, you're going to bring your forearms down to the mat. Really sinking into that hip. If you have a bolster or some blocks, you're welcome to use them as well. So you just kind of push them underneath. Maybe support that, that back thigh a little bit. Or you can use it underneath of your chest. But try to completely let go. And just allow the body to work into the pose. Just breathing. Trying to remain completely still. Trying to just relax. And let the body go. Notice how you feel. Taking care to only move to go deeper into the pose or to back out if you need. We're halfway. Now would be a good time to move a little bit deeper if you need. So if you're using props, try to see if you can scoot them out a little bit further. And just melt deeper into the pose here. Last two minutes to go. Take a scan of the body and see if there's anywhere you're holding on, any tension. If so, try to find a way to release, to 
to let go, to move slightly deeper into the pose. We've got one minute left to go. even though the body might be screaming at you at this point. Try to let go. Try to breathe through it. Calm the mind. Last 10 seconds. From here, slowly relax onto the belly, letting it all be absorbed into the body. Notice the sensation of energy flowing back into the hips. Maybe it's a warm feeling. Maybe it's more pins and needles. Whatever it is, just acknowledge that feeling. Completely let go, allowing the body to recover and prepare for the next pose. I want you to slowly get up. Make your way to your knees. And we're going to go into saddle pose or half saddle. So I'll give you a variation for both. Um, please do use as many props as you need. So if you need a bolster or blocks or bolster and blocks or two, or whatever you need, make sure you, you prop up on this one. I want you to really focus in on um, protecting those knees. So I don't want you to go too far. So I want you to be really mindful of the knees. So pay attention to how the knees are feeling. At any point in time you're feeling um, a pulling sensation on the knees or a twinge, I want you to back out and, and I'll give you a modification. So the full pose, um, eventually, when you can get there, is your feet come to the outsides of your bum, your bum comes down to the mat, and you lay all the way down to your back. And to take it a bit further, you extend the arms overhead. Now for a lot of people, this is a lot of pressure on the knees. So I want you to be very careful. Um, the first variation you can have is taking a block or a bolster. And you can bring it underneath of your bum and you can sit to take the pressure off the knees a bit. And then once you've sat here, you can even take another block or a bolster on top of this one for the back to take it not as far. Or you can slowly come down from here. If this is still too much on the knees, that's not a problem. What I want you to do is just go one leg at a time. So we'll just tuck the right leg behind, let the left leg come out. So we'll just do one leg at a time. And again, you can do it with the bolster or without the bolster. So whatever variation you've come to, I'm gonna stay here for now, whatever variation you've come to, I want you just to relax and melt into it. We're getting into the quads. So again, find what feels right for you. So we'll be here for two and a half minutes and then we'll switch sides. So if you are doing a, a half saddle, we'll switch sides. 
If you're in the full saddle position, so both legs are tucked back, you will stay there for the full five minutes. Again, only moving to go deeper into the pose or to ease out if you've gone too far. And we're just breathing. Maybe working into those quads. Allowing the body to just relax. If you'd like to take it a bit further, we've got another minute here before we switch sides. So if you're on a bolster and you want to come off the bolster, you're welcome to move the bolster off to the side. But again, being very, very mindful of those knees, making sure you're not putting too much pressure or tension. You can stay up on the elbows if you'd like, or you're welcome to make your way all the way back to your back. To take it a bit further, you can take the hands overhead. We've got 30 more seconds here if you're in a half saddle. Taking a moment to breathe. Last couple seconds. If you're in half saddle, I want you to make your way up slowly. If you're in a full saddle, stay right where you are. You're welcome to go a little bit deeper if you'd like. And you're going to switch legs if you're in half saddle. So again, being very mindful of that knee. You might find you have to prop up on one side a bit more than the other. That's okay. So find what feels right for you, whether it's sitting on a bolster staying up high on your elbows, or making your way all the way down to your back. Just doing what feels right for you and for your body. Just listening, inhale, and exhale. Feel free to close the eyes as you inhale, and exhale. Just noticing sensation, the stretching of the quads, the pull of energy through the body. Forty-five more seconds here. From here, I want you to slowly make your way back up, being very mindful of those knees. I want you to untuck that leg, or both legs if both of them are tucked, being very mindful of those knees, making your way back to a resting pose on your back. Notice how the body feels. Notice the sensation of energy rushing through the body. Just 
closing the eyes and letting your body rest. last couple of seconds here. Here we're going to go into a twisted branches. So we're going to bring our knees up to 45 degrees with our feet on the ground. You're going to lift your right leg up and I want you to cross your right leg on top of your left. If you can, I want you to tuck the right toes behind the left leg. If not, no worries. Reach your arms in opposite directions, and I want you to drop the knees down towards the left. Take your gaze over the right shoulder, close your eyes, and just let the body relax into this twist here as you inhale and exhale. If it's too much on the knee, you're welcome to untuck that foot that's tucked behind and twist from here. So again, being very mindful of those knees. Just breathing here, letting the weight of the shoulder take the twist even deeper. We've got two minutes left. Just the last few seconds here as we breathe, letting the body go, letting the twist go, melting as deep as you can into it. From here, slowly unwind, 
uncrossing the legs and just laying on your back here, letting the twist rebound into your body. Notice the sensation of energy rushing through the spine, maybe to the glute, to the shoulder. Notice how it feels, the warmth of it, the release. Just allowing the mind to relax and the body to relax. From here, slowly bend the knees, bringing them again to 90 degrees. And I want you this time to take the left leg on top of the right, tucking the toes behind the calf if you can. If not, no worries. Reach the hands in opposite directions. And exhale, slowly drop the leg to the right this time, taking the weight into the left shoulder. Feeling the, the stretch across the chest, the spine, into the glute, maybe even a little along that IT band. Again, if it's a little too intense on your knees, you're welcome to untuck the feet and just twist from here. Take a scan of the body and see if there's anywhere you're holding on to and see if there's a way to just let a little bit more go. Go deeper into the twist. Again, you're welcome to close your eyes and just relax here. With every exhale, letting the body just twist a little bit deeper. Take a scan of the body and see if there's anywhere you're holding on tension. Maybe you can release the hips a bit more. Relax the shoulders and the chest. See if you can let the body just twist a little bit deeper. Two minutes left here as you breathe, inhale and exhale. Again, take a scan of the body and see if there's anywhere you can let go and maybe go just a little bit deeper. Last minute here.
from here slowly unwind when crossing those legs again laying flat onto your back taking a moment to let the whole practice really go back into the body Slowly start to wiggle those fingers and those toes. Bringing awareness back into the body. And when you're ready, slowly make your way up. And move into a seated position at the front of your mat. Keeping your eyes closed, bring your hands to prayer at your heart center. Take a moment to thank yourself for your time, for the energy that you've shared here today. Raise your prayer to your third eye. Namaste. Thanks so much for joining me again today, guys. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel, like this video, and I hope you've enjoyed today's practice. If you want, leave a comment below, and I will see you next week.